uh, at the green stuff right is up to 0.2 microsieverts per hour um, and and the measurements I've gone around it the measurements are generally point one to uh, 0.19 microsieverts an hour kind of what we're getting in London at the moment okay uh, there are one or two spots on that green in the south there uh, and I mean two I only found two uh, which were naught point naught five microsieverts per hour um, so um, and in fact actually uh, I've currently uh, was just showing you it's point six there <laughs> so that's uh, 0 0.6 microsieverts per hour and uh, that's obviously in the, p the pink area that you can see but one of these green areas down is 0 0.05 microsieverts an hour there's two squares actually two little squares um, out of um, a couple of hundred uh, that has 0 0.05 uh, there may be one or two more but I did click over most of them that I could in straight lines and all sorts but it was all above 0.1 um, and so basically um, there was a recent uh, sort of uh, reading public reading uh, of 0 0.05 and and the japanese government uh, must have picked this one particular place that has a low reading out of all that green that you can see uh, he picked the one spot that had a 0 0.05 and i just wanted to talk about that because i just thought that was crazy stuff and um, and this is the real-time monitoring stuff that, that we can see um, and I'll put a, a link up that for anybody who's interested in keeping an eye on that situation because there are developments occurring at the moment um, you know our hearts go to the Japanese people yeah I really do and uh, I think I'll uh, leave that with you I just wanted to compare most of Japan all that green bit with London in radiological terms um, the only big difference which I will say is that the radiological readings you're getting here probably come from the ground the radiologicals that we get in London a large part of what we're getting I think come from the air and uh, you know our background radiation the stuff that comes from the ground has uh, has risen as well so we're losing our lower ends of uh, 0.05 we, we haven't had that you know we haven't had a reading like that since last summer you know and after Merkul we, we just didn't get much in the way of readings like that and uh, most recently I haven't seen it um, <clears throat> so I'm just saying that the worst pollution episode ever is also covered by the fact our background radiation is higher and that the air quality in radiological terms is worse I'm showing you the latest hourly bulletin um, and basically that has uh, it's generally okay-ish um, and it's seven five six four four six so we, we've got a few spots uh, maybe on the in the east of London uh, we have uh, something that's getting uh, what's just a uh, between moderate and well it's actually in the high mark but uh, but as a general rule of thumb everything else seems seems okay uh, obviously the radio you know, the radiation readings are about 0.12 and um, although at the moment I'll uh, just show you I don't know if this will work okay I was just going to show you the uh, reading um, as it was at the moment and it's fluctuating between 10 and 15 um, so it's not too bad uh, as you can see it's like dropping to 13 and although it is quite erratic so it says to me that there are particles jumping around the air all sorts of things going on um, but uh, it's not clean air by any imag imagination but uh, I do seem to be getting slightly less peaks today um, but as you can see it's quite smeggy and this is inside so if I went outside in theory we'd get a slightly, slightly higher, higher value let's see where it's going oh for God's sake anyway I'll uh, I'm gonna get back to the okay so we're back at the map thing uh, for those that wanted to know it got to 18 and then slowly dropped so uh, nothing too exciting but um, 
So these monitoring stations aren't monitoring radiation, and the radiation stations aren't really monitoring radiation either. But um, but uh, anyway, so uh, we're getting sort of slight rises still. Um, the peaks are less. I haven't seen so many peaks, and we don't know what's happening with the reactors at the moment. Uh, they're certainly uh, still burbling. Um, but uh, I would think it would probably be worse for people that were around the area of these reactors if there's no wind. So maybe if they're on the coast, uh, you'll get some movement of the contamination away from the uh, power air, power station area. Um, but uh, you know those guys down in Hinkley are uh, uh, big up to you. Uh, I hope the wind is moving. Um, the Irish Sea there. But, um, you know, so at the end of the day, it's, uh, that's the way things seem to be going at the moment. Um, uh, slightly better, uh, but we do have another week of this, uh, according to the weather maps I've been able to ascertain. This high pressure is sit sitting on top of us for uh, until at least the 3rd of April. Um, you know, these are things that we aren't being told. Um, so, you know, uh, that, that advice uh, in The Guardian uh, to uh, people that are not uh, perfect health um, or uh, have certain issues uh, with uh, asthma or whatever, they uh, they should be a bit careful now. Well, right, guys, I'm uh, look basically, I'm I'm taking you to the wonderful world of Eurodep, and uh, <coughs> the only place in Europe where you can get a decent cup of tea. See the letter T there is actually yep you got it UK and um, which is presently uh, having some problems with its radiation monitoring equipment again another switch off uh, that's how bad it is in England they normally have got such rubbish monitors with straight lines you know you can ironed ironed that's what they look like it's just ridiculous and uh, now today I was just sort of sitting here wondering what the hell am I doing, you know? And I did actually have a post something quite nightly said, uh, "Why are you doing all this posting on YouTube?" Well, I'm kind of doing it because it's uh, a documentary, documentation purposes really, uh, just because nobody else is doing it. And you know, it has proved a bit interesting. Um, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's it's like every step I take. It seems like someone else has taken a step somewhere else. Call me paranoid if you like. And, and on the question of paranoia, I, I'm just going to put this up here because um, you know, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's kind of common knowledge amongst all the anti nukes But you know, I think we're all watched. You know, and um, and actually, I did post some stuff up as it was happening last year and this year um, concerning phones tapping and phone hacking or actually actually to be honest there was it was a, a phone intercept very clever I can't didn't, they were trying to pretend they were my employer to find out who I was um, so uh, kind of advantage of being an independent you can confuse the, the buggers and make them earn a bit of money yeah. but uh, bless them bless them anyway they've, they've got a hard job to do the old security services switching off monitors and things it's, must be keep them awake all night. So um, anyway, what I'm doing, I just thought, oh, I'll, I'll I'm going to post this all up on the uh, YouTube, let people see it, you know, see if there's any interest in in the radioactivity we breathe. And here we are, you know. I mean, we're probably it's probably a bit clearer today, you know, but obviously uh, not that much. Um, but uh, we're getting we're getting weather pollution warnings, and we've got nuclear power plants steaming out stuff. Um, I'm not saying there's no other cause of uh, air pollution, but yeah, no, I'm just drawing two and two together. You know, the, the smog I'm I've got in London is very high in in sort of nasty isotopes. You know, I hate to say it, and uh, not just the isotopes that you get when you're basically uh, you know that you radioactive isotopes but you know these isotopes they, they, they don't when they come out of the reactor some of them only last a few minutes some last an hour you know but but what they revert to you know, when they're when their half-lives have depleted 
is a, a, a mineral or a metal or something of that nature and it's still aerosol and we are still breathing it in so for example lead pb10 which you can't get on uh, your deck you can get a lot of other ones you used to be able to get 210 but you can't now and uh that is that that comes out in bucket loads mate it's lead it's in the air we're breathing it in and if you get headaches and pains in your kidneys and flu-like symptoms and all that type of stuff you know is that lead poisoning but uh yeah defra mentioned lead on their report they mentioned strontium they don't say if it's uh depleted if it's uh, radioactive or not but you know the lead component of uh fallout is basically not you know it's not going to be radioactive after a quite a short period of time so you know at the end of the day it's uh basically what's happening you know and uh i'm, I'm yeah i just I, I thought i'd document it i documented it and you know and as it's so bad now and nobody's that interested and in fact they're kind of not interested because all the newspapers are kind of changing the story a little bit blaming the french when it should be the belgium and the english because of hinkley um and to be honest with you because the european maps on i'm thinking well it's probably more hinkley and albury than you know and I'm, you know they've closed the uh, albury reactor down they've got to empty it out and we've got a high spot over the uk and edf or whoever it was that does albury has turned around and said ah we'll just let it out and now we've got about another week at least of this high pressure zone which is you know just not move non moving at one to two mile an hour winds you know so <clears throat> basically uh you know we're just going to be keep getting hit with this for the next week and the radio isotope bit of it as well you know i don't think that can be too healthy um and uh but you know i'm just thinking you know i'm going to put it out there actually i'm going to say the pollution is mainly from nuclear reactors and they got caught on the hop because of the weather all right that's what i think and i think they can't explain that to you because they couldn't explain fukushima to you either and uh you know at the end of the day that's what that's the way we're being treated you know it's just like no knowledge no not you know it's uh, it may frighten you I, I i bought a video earlier i'm going to show you it there you are still got a sticker on it 10 quid what a waste of money but I, I got it you know because I read the back of it and I laughed I thought oh my god because it's like the government protecting us from this nasty contagious because fear would you know if this starts sounding familiar you know to any sort of people from Japan or you know America who've, who've, who've actually listened to any stuff that's going on over there but the fear of radiation oh actually BBC as well because they you know uh, what's her name uh, Geraldine Thomas and her wonderful uh, uh, happy nuke program at six o'clock in the afternoon uh, evening but uh, at the end of the day you know that's what we're getting and in reality you know the reality is we're getting what we're getting there nothing there's nothing anywhere there i mean even ireland which is known to switch off quite a bit or you know but everyone even the french look even the french got all their monitors on probably they got quite a lot on. nothing on england at all what's that about total control let's go to scotland for a minute lots of rich landowners up there getting lots of subsidies the monitors the guys that were monitoring the sheep said look we should really carry on this monitoring for a little while longer you know it would be wise and prudent do a bit of testing maybe you know uh, and they were told no they were told no don't know who said no but how stupid you gotta be you've got radioactive pollution coming out of reactors you've got it coming from fukushima fukushima has hit the high mountain areas we know this you just go to the norwegian maps and look up in hull and you can see you know you can just about see it rising but it goes from 0.9 to 0.1 0.15 microceiver it comes down to about 0.1 1 2 or something and now it's gone back up to 0.15 because of the european reactors you know what a world guys what a world and i'm gonna leave it at that I'm just, i just wanted to rant <laughs> i had to rant and uh thanks for listening you know and you know at the end of the day we're just all sucking this stuff up and nobody's telling us anything.
take care you all.